Hello everyone, uh, myself Yogesh Mehitre, working in assistant professor in KK College of Horticulture, Nashik. Today I am going to present on the our agroforestry course topic, advantage of energy plantation. First of all, what is in by energy plantation? Energy plantation means those plantation which are planted for the purpose of the energy, means the for purpose of the fuels or other their byproducts that's called as energy plantations they have the lot of uh, advantages of the this energy plantation of this plantation first uh, pla advantage of this uh, plantation is it emit little or no sulfur and uh, less nitrogen oxide than fossil fuel means uh, this uh, fuel plant after the burning or the uses of this uh, uh, this wood in the agroforestry plant they emit the uh, little or the without sulfur or they burn the without sulfur or the it produces less nitrogen uh, dioxide as compared to the other, uh, other uh, fuel products then second one uh, helps the rehabilitation of degraded la lands in those land which are degraded or they are not cultivable land that land may be used uh, uh, under the, the plantation of the energy plantations uh, this land is the rehabilitate of this uh, energy plantation crops then provide rural employment in the rural areas so the uh, unemployment is a major problem so that's why this uh, plantation provide the employment or the uh, create their employment uh, generation uh, in the uh, rural areas means their byproducts uh, or the other products may be usable for the rural people then alive and active growing forest and other plant uh, biomass absorb the greenhouse gases uh, in a quantity broadly equivalent to amount of uh, emitted emitted when plant material decay or burn they are thus the called as the carbon neutral and fuel sources means this alive or active forest may lead to absorbing greenhouse gases just like uh, uh, chlorofluorocarbon methane ethane or the another gases are should be absorbed and uh, uh, to <coughs> to make a uh, to help to create the pollution for the greenhouse gases or to reduce the uh, air temperature uh, in uh, our environment next one is a uh, growing energy crop uh, create a carbon sink which include the storing of the car carbon underground, underground through their uh, tree root system. Means plant absorb their uh, environmental or the environment car carbon dioxide and store in their root. That's, that's why it's called as a carbon sink. So mainly the, this plantation is uh, most useful for the producing the carbon percentage in our air. Then lower energy cost per unit area as the uh, lower input are required as compared to the agriculture crop. The, this energy plantation requires a lower input, means the fertilizer, pesticide, fungicide are not required as compared to the agriculture crop. Or lower energy cost per unit area, means this, pla uh, this plant uh, drilling cost is also less, or two, uh, also five rupees per plant is the cost of this uh, energy plantation uh, crop. So the, after the uh, full growth of this uh, plant, they are cut and use uh, their different uses. So their uh, input cost is low as compared to the other agricultural crops or the horticultural crops. The next one is the uh, energy plantations are a uh, tough to remove the entire nutrient from soil. However, by use of the thermochemical process of biomass conversion, uh, it is uh, feasible to restore all nutrients as uh, ash which can be returned to the plantation site. This uh, energy plantation is a uh, uh, Tough to remove the nutrient from the soil because this uh, plant absorb the nutrient from the soil from the drip strata and then uh, use and then uh, after the defoliation of their leaves this nutrient they are mixed into the of the decomposing soil this cycle is continuously goes means the recover of the all nutrients in uh, their uh, decomposed leaves or the uh, wood parts or the branch parts after the decomposition is their nutrients after the burning of this uh, 
uh, wood of this energy plant uh, plantation crop the ash and the ash create ash or the produce the uh, ash and this ash contain a lot of nutrients that are turned into the soil then <coughs> next one is a dependable and renewable source of energy along with a uh, with a forestation of marginal land and employment generation this is a renewable source of say energy is a, this energy is renewed in year by year year by year on the employment generation uh, this energy plantation crop create uh, their by product this product mainly used in uh, the different industry as a power material so it create the employment generation and aesthetic values wind break and shelter break this energy plant mainly the our uh, purpose is also purpose of uh, uh, the plantation in a wind break or the shelter break is another role or the also useful for the fodder fodder purpose for the uh, farmers livestock and there are some uh, energy plant have the aesthetic values which is a very uh, aesthetic in the uh, hindu culture then handling and disposal of by products is safe uh this energy plantation uh, crops the handling their by products for example germs with this power soap or uh, this handling is uh, the disposal is safe as compared to the chemical products this energy plantation are both ecological as well as sociological much sounder investment ecological means uh, ecological balance this energy plant create the ecological balance or the sociological also the sociological balance ecological means their ecosystem one uh, one ecosystem is to be uh, maintained so the sociological means all the um, lot of carbon uh, carbon dioxide is absorbed or the absorb the greenhouse gases or to uh, create the fodder for the uh, livestock so the to create produces the by product so the for the rural employment so the uh, regeneration so the as well as the so much a sound investment of energy plantation